Hey, hi, hello, guys. So don't you hate when you buy a bomb pair of jeans or a super cute skirt and it fits great everywhere but in the waist and then you got this big old gap in the back of your jeans? That's not cute. Mm -mm. You want to see how I fix my jeans so I'm extra snatched in the waist? Keep watching this video. Okay, first thing you do is turn your pants inside out and put them back on. Then you want to find your belt loops. You should have one on the side and at least one in the back. You want to sew your material together right in between these two belt loops. This is called a dart, D-A-R-T. So you pull that material together, use your fingers to measure approximately how much material you have and then that's what we're gonna sew together this is all you need needle thread and scissors it's best to find some thread that's the same color as the stitching in your jean but honestly you don't see it so get your needle out you want to get one of the thicker needles when you buy a pack of needles there's various sizes Get the thickest one you can find to make it through the jean. Then get your thread. And there's a little eye. I couldn't get my camera to focus, but there's a little hole in the top of your needle. Thread your needle. And if you're wondering where I am, yes, I'm in the bathroom. Yes, I'm hiding from my kids, but I had to make this video for y'all best thing I knew to do was hide so yep I'm in the bathroom and <laughs> so once you get your needle threaded there's no perfect measurement of thread just enough to where it's easy for you to work with but you're not having to constantly rethread. now these are the ends of your thread just do a simple knot just like that tie that thread in a knot now you have double the thread now remember I told you we're gonna sew in between the two belt loops so I am measuring my material out I've already used my belt loops to measure the middle of it and I'm taking my three fingers one two three and I'm gonna sew at the top of that third finger so step one Take your needle and press it through both sides of the material. Put that needle all the way through. And that knot is going to catch it, but go through the knot to make a loop. And you're going to do this stitch a few times. In my opinion, this is the most important stitch when you are hand sewing a dart. If you have the money to get a sewing machine and you know how to use a sewing machine, by all means do that but when you are in a rush and you do not have time to set up a sewing machine and you just need to put some quick stitches in your pants this is it so after you have done a few stitches at the top of the pants now all I'm doing is what I would consider like a brick pattern stitch I'm going in and out in and out and if you look on either side of that jean it's going to give me a small stitch like a railroad track or like a brick. And I'm sewing in a diagonal angle. So as you see, I'm going to have more material in the top, closest to the top of the jean, and less material at the bottom, closer to the pocket area. And you want to make sure that you stay in the line. Try your best not to sew too zigzag or too circular because then your stitch won't be flat and once you get down to the end of the pant you're going to do a secure stitch just like you did at the top and you can see I've got a diagonal line 
going in a triangular pattern. So now I'm just securing that stitch and I'm going to come back up and make sure that my needle goes into the areas that there is no thread. So on one side, you'll see thread, but on this side, there's no thread. So now I'm securing that stitch. Sis, this is not going anywhere. Trust me, don't be afraid. You're not gonna mess your jeans up. And if it doesn't turn out right, it's just thread. Cut the thread out and try it again. But this is gonna save you so much money because when you take your jeans to a seamstress, they charge between 12, 15, and 20 dollars to put these two little darts in here. Ain't nobody got time. Take your time and learn how to do this yourself. So I'm going in between the previous stitching stitches just to make sure it's reinforced. And I'm staying in the same triangle or slanted line pattern to where I'm just staying on the line I've already sewed. And now I'm back at the top. And I'm just going in and out, in and out with my needle. And once I get back to the top, I'm gonna do a couple of more security stitches. So back through the top, pull, back across, pull. And I'm gonna loop that thread around my needle to really lock that stitch in. And don't worry, if you've got extra thread, you can cut it when it's all said and done. Now, I'm going to do the other side. And yes, I'm still in the bathroom. Don't worry about why I'm in the bathroom. My kids are running through the house. I've got to get my jeans done. I'm using my needle to trace where I want to sew. That's my stopping point. This is my starting point. Using those three fingers to estimate. And using that third finger, the very top is where I'm going to start to sew. See, this is not hard at all. So now when you go shopping, you can buy those jeans that fit really good everywhere but in the waist. Don't let that deter you from buying those cute jeans. Just tailor your jeans. And just a quick secret, when y'all shop on Fashion Nova, those jeans are tailored to those models. Think about it, guys. Nobody has a 20 inch waist and a 54 inch butt and are buying off the rack. They're tailoring those jeans. This is what they're doing. So again, I'm just creating my security stitch at the very top. And I'm doing that in and out sewing pattern exactly how I did on the opposite side. And if you're on your phone, zoom in on this video so you can see this stitch. I couldn't use a white thread so it would be more visible because then it would be too visible for me to wear the jeans. So y'all just be patient with this brown thread, but this thread matches perfectly with the stitches that are already in this jean. So you'll see at the end, you won't even be able to see this thread at all. So again, just quickly going in and out. If you feel like you've gotten off track, take your needle out, make sure it's placed right. Go back in, back and forth. And you see how now I've come to where I have no material that's the end of my stitch. But I'm just gonna create a security stitch by looping it around. I'm just checking it out. You see my stitches right here on that side. Same exact thing on the other side. Okay, looks good to me. So now I'm gonna sew back up to the top. And that's going to, going to secure that stitch. Y'all know what I mean. I'm country, so if any slang ever comes out, I get tongue-tied sometimes because I try to be proper for y'all. But truth be told, this is who I am. I I know if I talk like this, y'all talk like this, and this is what y'all want to see. Somebody y'all can relate to. Since we just alike, I stutter, and I'm country. So if that's going to stop you from watching this video, don't watch it. <laughs> okay. So at this point, I'm just going in and reinforcing that thread. Y'all see how I keep pausing? 
my kids are literally screaming bloody murder in the background hence the reason why i'm hiding in the bathroom plus i'm trying to get dressed to go out tonight so I'm trying to hurry up but when i do things that i think can help y'all i'm always going to stop what i'm doing to share this information because i had to learn this stuff the hard way i wore belts for years and you know that extra material pops out of the belt and it's just not cute my grandmother taught me how to sew and ever since I learned how to do these darts, baby, that waist has been snatched and everything I needed. So again, I'm at the top of my pant and I'm just doing some extra security stitches, looping that thread around, pulling it really good and tight. And I promise y'all, this thread is not going anywhere. And if it does, pull your needle out and sew it again. Okay, so you're at the end. Cut off your extra material. And let's take a moment to shout out these two-week-old press-ons, okay? I'll put the link above so you can watch how to do that. All right, cut your extra thread out. Like I said, no big deal. Cut the thread out. Okay. I have two darts in my jeans. And they're perfectly in the center of my tag. They match each other close enough. Now, if I wasn't rushed for time, I would go and iron those darts down really, really good. But this is the after. Waist snatch. I know y'all see me, okay? <laughs> so my jeans now fit perfect. No extra room. You can wear this with anything. I should have ironed, but again, I'm in a rush. If you iron this, it will lay flat and it won't bubble. So ladies, don't be afraid to buy those jeans that fit great in the thigh and hip area, but are too big in the waist. You now have the answer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hi guys, bye guys, go be great.